Adam, welcome to Hartlepool United. Uh, I suppose, first of all, how does it feel being back in the North East? Yeah, it's good. I think uh, I'd be lying if I said that it wasn't a big, a big factor for me to come back home. Um, but like I said in my, in my interview when I first signed, if the ambition of the club didn't match something that I'm looking to do as well, which is obviously achieve promotion, um, the, the, the home factor is then irrelevant. So I think it's quite nice that it's kind of merged together and it obviously helps me coming home. But equally, the ambition of, of getting promotion is, is matched. And I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? The, the ambition of this football club, it, coming from the season that it's that it's had, the past few seasons that it's had, everybody now is looking upwards. And I suppose your signing from a from a fan's perspective has has been quite the statement. So, do you, do you feel that um, that anticipation and that excitement around you coming back to the northeast, you joining Hartlepool? Yeah, I think it's it's quite it's nice that it matches because I think, like you said, there the fans have maybe been a little bit um, a, a little bit disheartened over the last couple of years with with where things have gone. Um, but at the moment, it feels like there's a very positive vibe around the place. And obviously, we came in for our first proper day yesterday, and all the lads were buzzing to be back. And it just seems like the group is gelling nicely already. And considering we've only been together for a couple of days, we're hoping that that bodes well for for the future. Was there any any concerns, any any doubts about coming back and, and taking that 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 step, if you like, you know, coming from a, a team in Crawley that had had an incredible season? You were obviously a huge part of that. To then make that step and a, a step that I suppose from the outside, many people would have thought probably catch them by surprise that, yeah. that move. No, I get that, and from other people's perspective, I can see that they obviously the drop from League One to, to the National League might look like a like a big drop. But I've never really been one that that's bothered about the league. I think as long as I'm comfortable, I'm happy, and and the team that I'm playing for is is, achieve, is trying to achieve success. I think that's a big factor for me. Um, and like I say, once I got I sort of had a Zoom with with the manager when I was uh, when I was on holiday, and instantly the, the high press, the energy is just kind of all matched up. And like I say, obviously the local Location for me was a big thing, and then like trying to get promoted and get this club back to where where I believe it belongs is is obviously a nice a nice little aim to have for the season. And in terms of Hartlepool United, obviously you're no stranger to Hartlepool United. You were here on a very short loan spell at the time. I think it's two games you played mm -hmm. that you featured in. The, the Adam Campbell then, the Adam Campbell now. I heard your interview with the club previously, and you were saying you know it was a you're a very different player now, but you spoke about your time at that time and where you were in your life at that point. Just yeah. for those who haven't heard that, I mean, it was. I, I listened to that and thought that's really interesting and very honest from yourself to, I suppose, to, to project that and, and sort of hold your hands up and go, yeah, you, you didn't see the best of me at, at that time. Yeah, I'd like to think that people knew that once they saw me play because I had two stinkers when I came. But um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously, I think. The club was in a bad space. I think that was obviously, um, for those who remember that time, we had a quite a bad FA Cup result as well. So I think it was um, a negative time for the club, but I don't think I helped in any way, which obviously <laughs> now when I'm thinking like the player that I am now and the person that I am now, I can admit that. Mm. Um, but that comes obviously through experience. I'm a lot older. I've got a lot more games under my belt. I know how to cope with things when I'm not fully confident or when I'm not playing well, and and how to build myself into the team and and obviously help the people around me. Which at the time I was probably um, hoping other people would help me, and it didn't really come. And I didn't really, um, yeah, I didn't express myself as well as I, as I should in that time. And and it is something that I regret, but obviously something that I can't really change. Um, but yeah, hopefully, obviously, like I say, when the Hopefully, when the fans see me this season, they'll they'll see a completely different player, and and they'll understand that uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was just one of those things. Does it almost and if the answer may be absolutely not, but I mean, does it make you in any way um, more determined to, I suppose, show them the player you are now? I'm sure you know people are, will be familiar with your game and. Since signing, I'm sure people will have been scouring the YouTube clips and looking at the highlights and looking at the goals and the assists and all those things. But is that in your mentality at all? To all right, I'm going to show them what I'm really capable of. 
Yeah, but I think that could be the same for every footballer because I don't think anyone's ever made it as a professional and not had people doubt them. So it's just kind of part and parcel of the, of the game and it does add the motivation to, to try and show people what you can do and to try and achieve success because as much as all the Hartlepool fans are saying that it's going to be a good season and everyone's optimistic, you've got 23 other teams who are saying that they're going to be the one. Um, so we've got to prove to our fans why they should turn up and why they should why they should back the boys and I've got no doubt over, like they say, the last two days we've only been in and met the lads and I know already that we're going to be given everything we can so if we're not good enough it's going to be because we're not good enough not because we haven't tried hard enough um, but the quality and training straight away you can see it the intensity is there so yeah, we're, we're fully confident and I say yeah of course I want to I want to prove people wrong I always want to prove people wrong but so does everyone. And the manager we just uh, interviewed Darren Sal and he was talking about obviously you joining and, and that being a big statement of intent but also about you as a player and not just your work on the ball but your work off the ball being huge and he said when he meets players you know about joining the football club he'll he'll tell them what he likes about them and he'll tell them the things they maybe maybe need to improve on or the place the the, the parts of their game where he feels they can Im- he can improve them yeah. i just wonder if he if he had that similar conversation with you and if if so what he felt like he could he could add to your game yeah i think what he saw from from our conversations was that I work hard off the ball. I try and look after it as much as I can when I've got the ball and create opportunities. And I think because of the way that he trains and the intensity that he wants us to be at in training, I think naturally that my press is going to get better um, winning the ball higher up the pitch because when I was at Crawley, I sometimes played a little bit deeper to try and help with the formation. Whereas I think the gaffer here wants me to play a bit higher, wants me to press from the front and, and kind of lead that press. So I think he'll build me up in terms of fitness. I can guarantee that over the last two days that that's going to be a, a big improvement. Um, but knowing when to press, how to press. I think he's big on, we go after the ball and we win it as high as we can. Um, and I think, yeah, we'll, all the lads are just trying to soak it up as much as they can because as soon as we uh, we don't press and we take a step back, he's on us straight away. So, no, it's um, it's going to be exciting, that's for sure. It's going to be, when you, when you watch Hartlepool, you're going to know, or when you play against Hartlepool, you're going to know that you've been in a game. There's no doubt about that. And pre-season, how do you find pre-season in general? What, is it just, is it... Uh, is it almost? Um, it's quite common that people would say in interviews like this, pre-season. I bet you're dreading it. I mean, is it that? Is it still really dreadful for players? Is it one of those things? That think, oh, okay, first couple of days of pre-season, we're going to be in pain here. Is, is that how you found it? Yes, is the short answer <laughs> to that. Yeah. Um, no, it doesn't get any easier. I put on my Instagram yesterday. I was, we were smiling and training, but there was no smiles come the end of it. That's for sure. Um, yeah, it's horrible. Your, your legs go, your arms go, everything goes. Um, but the one thing that, that hasn't gone is, is the mindset of why we're doing it and what what the end goal is. So I think as long as everyone keeps that in their head, we'll we'll get through it. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of your position, because one of the things that. I know Darren Sal was saying that he liked about you initially was obviously your versatility. But so with this squad and the way that it is, I mean, where do you see your ideal position on on the pitch? Where do you see that you do your best work and you can influence things to the best of your ability? I think I'm best when I'm in behind a striker. So what's normally called a ten or attack midfielder, setting striker, anything like that. Um, because I feel like when I'm there, I can influence the game more. I can drop deep when I need to. I can go in behind. I can bring other people into play. Um, but I, like you say, I have played a million positions. So I, I'm comfortable up front. I'm comfortable on the left, right, centre mid. Now, as after the sort of last season with with Crawley, I had a, a couple of games in centre mid as well. So no, I'm quite comfortable. But I think as long as I'm in the middle of the pitch, that's where you kind of see the best of my abilities. And just finally for me, I, I heard in your previous interview again with the club just saying, you know, you're happiest or you, you, you play best when you're happiest. Yeah. Uh, sitting here across from you now, to get the sense that you're in a good place, you're in a happy place back home, back amongst family as well. It, clearly excited to get going. Yes, definitely. I think um, anyone who knows me knows that I've, I've always been a home bird. I've lived away a long time throughout my career, I've sort of six, seven years away from home. Um, and whenever I'm away, I'm always trying to get back home. And it's kind of, it does sometimes impact my game and in terms of recovery and things like that. Um, with Crawley being so far away, it kind of, I was in Crawley and that kind of just stayed down there. And my wife came down and, and stayed with me quite a lot as well. So that helped in terms of settling in, in Crawley and helped with my recovery 
recovery and my game improved, uh, hence the 50 odd games in, 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 over the course of the season. And I think when I'm home, you see the same thing again. Like when I was at Gateshead, I played every game that I was fit for, um, scored goals, created goals. And, and I feel like the same things here. And like you say, at the moment, the club's positive, the lads are positive, I feel positive. Um, so yeah, long may that continue. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Do you mind if I just tack on another couple? Sorry, Dan. We've, we've got to keep you wait, waiting. Adam, you've got so much experience, and and you know, in all different areas of the football pyramid, you've played in the Premier League, you've played in the Europa League, obviously in League One promotion winner, and you, and you've played in and around this level as well. You're still only 21, but do you see yourself as a real leader in this group now? Yeah, I think so. I think. From signing, there's a lot of leaders already here. I don't think it's necessarily something that maybe at Gateshead we had one or two older lads, whereas here I think we've got a few older lads and experienced lads who, who can take that on as well. But definitely I think I'd be looking to, to help with my experience in terms of games that I've played and, and obviously moments and seasons and things like that to try and help drag people along. I think I just called you 21. You, you are looking very well, but 29. Um, <laughs> and you arrive as sort of a marquee signing to an extent obviously having just won promotion to, to League One with, with Crawley and, and been a really integral part of that side. Does that add a little bit of extra pressure? Are you feeling pressure to, to really be sort of one of the main men here? Pressure probably not, no, but I do that I do feel there's a sort of sense of expectation that mm -hmm. I'll perform at a, at a high level, but I, regardless of marquee signing, not mark, it wouldn't matter to me. I always put pressure on myself that when I'm on the pitch, I need to create goals, I need to score goals. Um, I need to help the team defensively as well, which I think is quite important from, especially the way the manager wants to play, we're going to defend from the front. And I think um, using the experience that I've got, I'll try and lead that press as much as I can and make sure that we aren't taking that step backward and we just we're relentless in, in what we're doing. And, yeah, so no, I would say pressure, no, but definitely a um, sense of expectation. But I love that, to be fair, so not Great. too bad. Glad to hear it. And Manny de Sarue, obviously a player hopefully you're looking forward to, to playing with, had a, had a great season last season, scored loads of goals. We often hear about that big man-little man partnership, I'm not saying which is which. <laughs> um, you must be looking forward to, to, to playing alongside him, especially if you, you see yourself as a sort of second striker, ideally. Yeah, definitely. I think, let's say, from two days into training, you can already see his quality and um, he's been the pain in, in the neck for the last couple of years when I was at Gateshead as well. He seemed to always score against us and cause us lots of problems. So, um, so no, I'm, I'm fully uh, fully excited about, about playing with Manny, for sure. Top man. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Thanks. Sorted. Legend. Happy days. <laughs> Perfect. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. All the best. Thank you very much.